So I'm here. I am Dee Scratch to test out some cool Dollar Tree pins for you guys. So you don't have to waste your money on buying this if you don't want to. I, Mike and Ike is so cool. And I love how these work for me. I don't know about you guys, but I have to have so much fun testing out products. And I love testing out markers and crayons, colored pencils, and all kinds of cool stuff that might help you in your crafts and artwork. And I can't wait to do all these glitter pins. These are beautiful rainbow colors. So let's test the rainbow, you guys. Let's test them to see if they really work, see if they're really worth the money. And I hopefully enjoy this video. I love all the colors, you guys. Who loves colors? Who loves rainbows? Comment down below. I know I do. I love stuff like this. I'm so excited for you guys to listen and see your thing. So let's have fun decorating our pins and decorating our photos with these cool things that I bought from Dollar Tree. I love pencils, you guys. What type of pencils do you guys like? Do you like the mechanical ones or do you like the number two pencils? I like using both. So I had so much fun showing you all these pens, pencils, and highlighters. Hopefully you get excited as much as I am. So let's get into the video and talk about why these are important to test out products and see if you really want to buy them again. So thank you guys. Let's start testing the rainbow. Amazing crap artists. We're going to be testing the rainbow. These beautiful highlighters, felt tip pens, and some cool pencils we can use for our crafting and artwork. And I can't wait to show you my glitter rainbow. Look at the rainbow, you guys. Looks so amazing. My oranges, my orange people, my white for my white, white glitters, uh, my beautiful red, red, and my beautiful blues for my blue people, and my purples, lilac, and the people who love pink, and then the greens, and then yellow. So amazing. These these work so well, you guys. Surprisingly, they work pretty good for a Dollar Tree glitter pen. I was like completely shocked. Completely shocked how good they were. And then I got some felt tip pens. And the red and green work very well. It doesn't skip at all at all. The pen over here for this um, ladybug does not skip at all. The pencils work great. And then the highlighters highlight the best they can highlight. But they are so much fun to highlight. So let's do this video, you guys. Let's explore the color rainbow and see if all these pens and glitter pens work. So let's get started. Let's discover the rainbow beautiful felt tip pens and look how nice they write you guys it works so good i did different kinds of things to see how good it would look there's a star i have little, little swirls and little m's and i did my name dd crafts and i love this pen let's show you up close in person look at this beautiful pen you guys a felt tip pen and it smells pretty good it has a little scent i wish it had a little bit more scent than that but it doesn't but i love this this looks so cool for us artists out there who love to draw make characters like this i can't wait to make some characters that's the red one that's the red one. So let's look at the green one up close and personal. Look at the pretty green. I love green. It's a pretty color. Even though red is my favorite color of all time. Of every shade of red is. But I do love every color. I think the rainbow is so beautiful. And I'm so glad we're testing the rainbow today on these beautiful pins. So let's let's go check um out some more beautiful pins. Let's do some glitter pins. So this is the glitter. This is right here. Look at this. I did the glitter. And I'm going to show you the pencils up close and personal if I can get them all without making a mess. <laughs> There's orange. Okay. Stay there, orange. Orange. You have white glitter. You have red glitter. You have blue glitter. You have yellow. Yellow. <laughs> yellow glitter. You know, I can't say yellow. It's funny. You have pink. You have beautiful green, if I can put green in there, and you have lilac or purple. So let's put them all right by each other. So let's start with the white one. White goes right there, as you can see. Come on, white. And then, <laughs> and then you have red. I'm trying to go in the order of them so you can see them. And it looks like, yeah, let's do it like that. Red and white. And then you have blue. Blue. They're not in the rainbow colors. So I just do them that way, but this blue. Then that's pretty purple. And then you have, let's do pink. Let's do pink. Let's do pink, you guys. Hope that was in frame. Let's do pink. And then let's do green. This light green, like spring green. And then we have that wonderful orange. And then we have a yellow. So look how beautiful these pens look, and they're glittery. So let's get a little bit closer. Let me move it down just a little bit so you can see how glitter. It's a, it's a lot of glitter, and they did not skip. At first I thought maybe they're gonna be they're not gonna work very well because they're cheap Dollar Tree 
pins. I was like, no, these actually look pretty good. And I didn't write the whole orange, but I, I was going to do that later, come back and write it. But so you, sometimes you don't want to misspell words on here because people come after you if you misspell words. But I didn't have to write the, I didn't have to write it anyways. I just thought it'd be fun to write it. But I made some designs and little dots and they all got stars. And I love how, look at the white shows up pretty good. I like the white glitter pen shows up very well. On um, white paper, I was surprised I was going to get some black or brown paper or maybe even red paper. It would have been cool, but this looks so amazing. I love this. My favorite color on this, this whole glitter pen, I think it'll probably be the red and that blue. I'm surprisingly that that, that blue shows up real good. And then the white looks pretty good in my opinion, but this will look way better if it's on black or um beautiful, you know, other color paper. You know, it could be any color you want, but I just had this paper here just to show you. This is what it looks like so far, but I had so much fun showing in this beautiful rainbow of colors. I love rainbows, you guys. I just love the colors. Uh, I didn't put them in the rainbow order. I could probably should have, but it's okay. We're just doing cool pins for right now. And I'm going to show you the rest Um, what I'm going to show you in this video. It's some more cool, like the highlighters and all that kind of cool stuff, you guys. So, um, I'll be right back to show you everything I want to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have some fun learning how to pick out some cool pins like I have. And I'm surprisingly, I'm surprised, like I said before, they work very well. So, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and we'll do more videos like this. More testing of the rainbow and more colors. Out some Mike and Ike pins. I got a dog tree. This is the highlighter, and that's a bookmark it came with. So, this is the bookmark. It looks kind of cheap, but I'm going to hand laminate it. So, comment down below if you like Mike and Ike's, if you're into candy at all. Some people don't even like candy. Sometimes they get old, they don't want to eat candy. So, my B for Mike and Ike is the red one. The cherry, I think it is, or strawberry. Tastes really good, but I like all flavors. They have all different types of tropical ones now, and I just love it. And this is a cool way for us um, people to, you know, still love candy and not eat it. <laughs> But this is a cute bookmark, you know, I can decorate it on the back or leave it plain or whatever. I'm going to laminate it. And this is the highlighter right here. The highlighter has a little scent. It smells like what, lemon or something. Something something little fruity. And it's not that bad. This is what it looks like right here. I wrote Mike and Ike. And I, this is the pen I used right there. That's the pen. And this is what it looks like, you guys. The pen is amazing. It works good. It doesn't skip at all. And I wrote down Mike and I, and I used a highlighter over it and did not smear the words like I thought it would, but it's really cool. I love it. So let's move on to the next highlighter I want to show you and bookmarks. And I hope you guys like this. It's so much fun um, doing this kind of thing. Um, show you what I would, would use if I'm an artist. So here's another one, another cool one, a highlighter. These characters are so cute. I love it. Like I said, over there, these characters are the same characters as these felt tip pins. So I had to buy both. Cat Nunor, Nunor, I know I'm saying it wrong, and then the Ladybug, her name is Ladybug something, but I can't remember her name, so I don't know how to pronounce it either. So this is her highlighter, and it does smell a little bit. It has a little tint of, little tint of scent on it. I wish it was a little bit more intense, because I love stuff that smells good, and I love how this is drawn on here. I love how it's, it works pretty good. You can put the lid on and everything, and this is the pen up close and personal. This is the pen. It clicks pretty good, and it writes pretty good. Don't skip it all. And then a beautiful bookmark, like I said before, this is so cute for you people who love to read. Oh, you just want to have a cute bookmark to put inside your art or craft book. You know, look how cute that looks. I love how it's drawn. I love the character. I've seen the cartoon several times and I love it. So that's what I wrote down here. Hey, craft artist. I know Dee Dee and then I wrote the name of the characters. If you know how to pronounce that name, comment down below for me. And then Ladybug. And this is some cute stuff, you guys. So I don't know how I'm going to put these in. I might put them in my, um, my, um... Well, I might put these in <laughs> if I can talk. I might put these in my um my new pencil case I just bought. I bought a bunch of them. So like my girl boss one. This is so cute. And it zips well. I already unzipped it already. But it looks good. You can put these pins right in there. These felt tip pins are going there. Maybe my highlighter, maybe my glitter pins right here can fit in there. I don't know. But I just think it's wonderful to have a good pencil case for pins. Or you can put it inside a pencil um the little containers you use on the desk. And then I want to show you these pencils that I got also. These are Crayola. I didn't know Crayola had regular pencils. And these are like drawing pencils. And these are really cool. I like it because of the erasers were rainbow-like. So let's test the rainbow. Look at the green, the brown, the pretty pink. Is that pink? I think it is. Yeah. And then you have red and then orange. Then two shades of blue. A light and a dark blue or sky blue. 
and it looks really beautiful. I love these. They, they work pretty good. I didn't write them on the paper or nothing, but you can draw with these, and it's so much fun using this type of stuff for your artwork. I just love it. I had so much fun, you guys, showing you everything. We tested the rainbow. We tested rainbow pencils with the rainbow erasers, and also we tested the rainbow highlighters and candy. I love the candy lovers down there, and also my favorite, I have to say, it's my glitter, glitter pencils. Look at these glitter pencils and glitter pens. They work so well. So I just love these. I had so much fun showing you these colors. And what is your favorite color in, um, that I'm showing you? Do you like that pretty purple, that vibrant red, that light, light blue or sky blue, the orange, orange, um, lemon yellow, or that beautiful, like, silvery white, or that pretty pink, or the spring lovely green? Whatever color you like. I, I like every last color. I love showing you tasting the rain, tasting the color scheme. I had so much fun doing this. So I'm going to put these away in my little zip, my little um, pencil case right here. This is Girl Boss. And then also I have some other ones that I thought were cool that I love, too. I bought these at Dollar Tree. I did a video about this already, so go watch that haul video. I had so much fun showing you these beautiful, wonderful things you can use in your craft room, your art room, or just everyday use. And all the teachers out there can use this for your correcting your kids, like these felt-tip pens. I love using it to correct their pens with the, um, on the test work. I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun showing you everything in this video. Um, hopefully everything is in the store still. You never know with Dollar Tree, but I just love it. I'm glad I tested them all out, and I'm just surprised how good these work. These glitter pens. I mean, even on white notebook paper, they work pretty good, in my opinion. The highlighter, kind of disappointed just a little bit, but I love them still. But I give these glitter pens, pens, if I can talk, I give them an A. Literally an A. And the pen looks pretty good. I give that an A, too. And I give these felt tip pens over here an A as well. Pencils, you know, they're great. Pencils are just great no matter what. And comment down below also if you like pencils like these or do you like mechanical pencils i like both so thank you so much have a wonderful day you guys and i'll talk to you in another imdd scratch my life craft my life is a craft artist video and keep crafting no matter what 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 because we did test the rainbow